again. This is just a short oh, 20 minute video on uh, Yamba, New South Wales, uh, up there, just showing you around. Let's have a look around. It's a little bit of drone footage. This is before I actually learned how to fly a drone, it was done 12 months ago. So, I hope you enjoy, and yeah, it just shows the beautiful scenery of that great area. Some footage of the Yamba Marina. And later on, a little bit of footage of a place called the Blue Hole, which is just uh, south of the Yamba Township. That's just looking east towards the township of Yamba, from where I took the drone off. This was recorded using my new drone, which I was just learning to fly. Uh, there's a ferry that goes to Luca. Just a beautiful colour of the water in this region. Uh, yeah, it's just such a picturesque place. I'd recommend anybody going up there to visit. Yamba's just amazing. That's the Yambus Marina's uh, slipway, you just see. Coming back up to the jetty. This jetty here, I used to fish for blackfish, and you used to get quite a few off there. It's a great spot. Taking you across to have a look at the Yamba Marina. Um, yeah, I just seem to head to this finger for some strange reason. Get my eyes on that little view of the boats here. Jesus, some beautiful boats. Yes. Such a beautiful place. Duncanson, a Hans, a model, and another model. That's a Duncanson there with a purple rain. That's a Vendor set down there. There's the Yamba barbecue boats. If ever you're up in Yamba, go and see John and Lynette. They run the barbecue boats. And, you know, such a great, great place. The great hosts. Looking east, 
away from the town, down towards the south there. Just looking towards Crafton. As I said, this region is just so picturesque and beautiful. Just that footage down there would show you a bit south. In amongst those was the old yacht Lionheart that Jesse Martin made famous by taking around the world. Looking away down there to the west is that's the channel that you head out of Yambo, across over there and out to sea. It's just an amazing pretty spot. Visit the uh, Blue Hole. Um, not too sure what this is. I think this is an old abandoned quarry here that's filled up over time. But yeah, it's just the shadows in the water look absolutely amazing. The rock formations. That's a walking track that you walk down from the car park. It's about oh, 500 metres. Correct me if I'm wrong, wrong in the comments, but yeah, I think it's about a 500 metre walk. But once a fish will always a fish around, I keep looking for fish.
I know I snoozed around in here a bit, but I was just captivated by the colours. You could see in the water, you know, the trees and the grass, just amazing. And just here I could see a honey eater, so I tried to get a little bit close to him, but he, I couldn't pick him up on the video, but he stayed there. He was around this bottle brush here. He was just back into the bush a bit more. He's just between those two yellow flowers. I didn't want to disturb him for too long, so I took the drone out towards the ocean. That's looking east, out into the Pacific Ocean or the Tasman Sea, whichever thing. But I, it's just such a beautiful region up here. It's looking down towards the mouth of the. Clarence River down that way, down up north there. Now, looking in there, if you can spot the fish. They're there, I spotted a few little fellas in there. That's why I flew over it a few times. As I said, I was just learning how to fly this drone at this stage. So excuse the erratic manoeuvres. You'll see his silver flashes every now and again, a fish. It's just so pretty, this little bit of water here. It's just beautiful to see a little bit of life in there. There you go, flash of silver there on the bottom of the screen. Looking back to the walkway in. That's the walking track that goes around to apparently a swimming hole. Surprising enough behind the trees to the uh, right side of the screen, there are, there's another big hole. But I'll uh, show you that when I take the drone up soon. down closer now so we should be able to see some fish for you I hope if you can pick them out they're there just to flash yourself in the center of the screen Fish moving to the right of the screen there.
reason I was looking towards the sky, there was an eagle. And I think that's why I come back over here to the water, the water hole first, if I took the drone up. Because drones and eagles don't mix. I decided it was safe enough, so I went up and I'll show you where this hole is. There's the other hole. It's the untouched beauty of this place, it's just amazing. Looking back north towards the Clarence River entrance, the Amber itself. That's where I belong out there. A beautiful sunset. And there's that hole where the fish were. Hope you enjoy my videos. I know they're a bit of a difference, but yep. I just hope to bring you some scenery that is beautiful. Yeah, there, as you can see with the screen, my battery was starting to go down. And Sunsets are a thing I love because I lost my brother to pancreatic cancer in 2018 and sunsets was his thing. So I've just sort of continued it. I love taking photos of sunsets and if I can capture it on video with a drone, I'll try and do it. As you can see, the battery's going dead there, but Fuji just started to pack up on me. The drone's acquiring where it took off from, using its GPS.
I hope you like my videos and, you know, like as I said, hit like and hit that subscribe button and join me because there's plenty more to come. Um, my next episode is on uh, Shalaba, a little bit of Kayama um, and those sort of regions at the new marina at Shalaba, into the Shalaba Harbour, then up around to Kayama in the evening. So yes, hit that like, subscribe, join me on Patreon. And excuse the croaky voice, it's still a legacy of COVID. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Well, hopefully it'll be more. That's the picture coming down through the walkway there. And... <laughs>